the brick in uh, owners association has decided to go on an indefinite strike in haryana to protest against the increase in the coal price as well as the hike in gst due to this more than 2000 brick ins in the state will not produce any bricks in the next season starting from september this has left thousands of laborers looking for other work and is expected to have an impact on the construction work in the national capital Ahead of the manufacturing season, the Brick Kiln Association in Haryana has gone on strike after the government increased the GST from 5% to 12% on brick manufacturing. हमारी मांगे हैं जो GST बढ़ी हुई रेट है 5% से 12% हमारी कर दी गई है और जो कंपोजिशन पहले एक था उसको 6% कर दिया है तो हमारी मांग है उसको पहले की यथास्थिति में इसको लेकर आया जाए कोयला भी महंगा कर दिया कोयला भी 250 से 300% महंगा हुआ है The ongoing strike has led to a hike in the price of bricks and many like Naresh Kumar a beneficiary of PM Awas Yojana fear that they may not be able to finish the construction of their house Inta the 4500 ek number ki ab ye matlab ke 67 se yani ke 7000 ke aas pass ja chuki hain sariya reta badri kuch bhi hai ye sab mehanga ho chuka hai ghar mein koi ji nikmane wala ji main hum dono handicapped hain abhi सरकार से हम यही मदद चाहते हैं कि हमारी और मदद कोशिश मदद करने की कोशिश करें ढाई लाख में हमारा पूरा मतलब के काम नहीं चल सकता हम सरकार से अपील करते हैं वाई आर द ब्रिक किल ओनर्स अपसेट द जी एस टी रेट है ट्वेल्व परसेंट कोल प्राइस इज हाइक फ्रॉम टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज पर क्विंटल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड हाई फ्यूल प्राइसेज है कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू हायर इनपुट कॉस्ट The sudden strike has led to the shutting down of more than 2000 brick kilns and has left lakhs of laborers jobless in the state. Labor kya karega bhukha marega na jai. Bhatta band hai bhukha se marega na kahan jayega sab. Gadi itna gareeb hai kahan jayega. Experts say that the construction in the NCR region will be impacted in the coming days since brick kilns are located in districts bordering Delhi supply a bulk of bricks in the NCR region. With Mohammad Ghazali in Punjab, Zara Khan for NDTV.